Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sarah Caddison. I'm an online coach and I post all things food, fitness, workouts, all that good stuff online as well. Today I'm gonna be running through what I eat in a day in my dieting phase. As you can see, I've literally just woken up. I've come upstairs because the sunrise was absolutely stunning on the balcony this morning. Um, so I just took a couple of minutes up here and then I'm gonna go down and make a coffee grab something before I go for a walk with one of the girls. I'm not a huge fan of what I eat in a day on Instagram. They're great. They're good to give ideas, but I just don't want people to copy others' calories because everyone's calories for dieting, for weight loss, for maintenance, all gonna be completely different. It comes down to your height, your weight, your age, your activity level, your goal. So that's why I just don't want people to copy me as such but I'm just going to be running through what I'm eating at the moment. So I have around six weeks left of my dieting phase. By the time this goes up, maybe like five weeks. So my calories are obviously a lot lower than what they were in a gaining phase. In a gaining phase, I was having about 3,500 calories. Um, so we're around the 1,900, 2,000 mark now, which is a little bit lower for me. Um, so I'm having to be very strategic with my meals. So that's what I'm gonna to show today. Being very honest, I'm kind of eating the same things really every day at the moment and that's not because I'm scared of variability, I'm scared to go over my calories, anything like that. If I want something different, I'll have something different. But the reason why I'm doing that is because one, I enjoy the meal. I, I love the meals that I have. My overnight oats, I crave them every single day or my pancakes, I crave them every day. So it's always between them two. My lunch is just keeping me full for so long. Um, so that's why I'm having that, but I really do like it. And my dinner, I I think I've had my same dinner now for, honestly. <laughs> Even when I was gaining, honestly, about 12 weeks, um, Anto was having the same. We're just obsessed with our, our dinner. Um, and then my snacks in and around it, I'll show you them. I'm gonna go down and have my coffee now. I have been making this banana bread every every week and I've been having it before the gym so much cheaper than squares bars that I was having all the time but I'm just loving them um so I have the banana bread reel ready to go to go on Instagram so whether it's up on Instagram by the time I put this YouTube up I'm not too sure um but yeah I'm just obsessed with it it has like eight grams of protein it's only 100 calories so I made that the other day but forgot to put bacon powder in this batch so there's no bacon powder so it's like meh it's like a little skinny one it's like a little mini one but it still tastes the same and has all the same ingredients so i'm gonna have a slice of that and have my coffee and my hand is starting to shake how do people hold this up oh <laughs> my hand is numb for holding it for four and a half minutes but sorry i just want to show you oh good morning my little angel face Good morning, my little plum old baby. Hi. I love you so much. Do you know that? Do you know how much you're loved? Um, and then this is the view. Oh, you can't really see the sky. The sky was all orange this morning. It was stunning. It was so pretty. Coffee has been made. I am obsessed with this amount of foam in a coffee. That is why I love my Nespresso machine. And then I'm having a quick slice of this. So this is the banana bread. Can you see how small it is? Because I forgot to put the baking powder in. Oh my God, my head was just like a sieve, but it still tastes unreal. Um, it's just a lot smaller. Normally they're like that thick. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have a slice of this, which is only about 100 cals, eight grams of protein have my quick coffee. I actually decided to have decaf. I just want something warm before I go for my walk, but I'm gonna get my coffee out um, with her. So yeah, that is my first kind of little meal. I have this before the gym every morning. I know I'm not gymming this morning, but this is what I'm having before the gym every morning at the moment. Um, and it's a perfect little snack before we start to train. So I'm back for my walk, so I'm gonna make my breakfast. I'm gonna have my protein pancakes, but I said I'm actually gonna have my overnight oats this morning. One, because it just fills me up for hours, but two, because I've shown my over, or I've shown my protein pancakes the last, the last YouTube I put up. So I said I may as well do 
my other breakfast that I have. I'm just a, I'm a sweet breakfast girl. I'm not a massive fan of having savory food in the morning. So I just love having a sweet breakfast. And then I actually have eggs for lunch. So I kind of have like a second breakfast for lunch. Now these overnight oats, I make with vegan protein powder. Now you'll know from my pancakes in the last YouTube, I use regular protein powder um, for my pancakes. These I use vegan. I am by no means vegan at all. You'll see by my meals later. The reason why I use vegan protein powder is because I love how thick it makes them. Whereas regular protein powder doesn't make them as thick. So if you are making this with regular protein powder, you can just use less yogurt. Um, I actually have a reel of it on my page on my Instagram with using less yogurt and it just makes it just as thick. Um, so you can definitely make this with regular. I just love making it with the vegan um, and the flavor of the vegans. I just, yeah, I, I don't know. I did it one day and I'm hooked on it. So you don't have to go out and buy vegan. You can definitely just do this with regular protein powder. Just use less yogurt so that it's thicker. So starting off, I use 45 grams of my instant oats. You can literally just blend up your oats if you want. Um, but I just prefer these. They're just so handy to use. And then this is the vegan protein powder that I use. It's the chocolate peanut butter caramel flavor. Oh, I love it. Um, I wouldn't use it for pancakes though. I don't like the vegan protein powder for pancakes. It just doesn't make them as good. But um, for the overnight oats, I just love. So I'm gonna use 20, 24 grams of that. And then 0% Greek yogurt. So I'm gonna use 120 grams of this. But as I said, if you're using regular protein powder, you'll just use, I think it's like 50 grams. And then I'm adding in some of the flavor drops from my protein. I love the vanilla flavor or the chocolate peanut butter or the butter biscuit. Now, this mixing process, when I say it's gonna look so dry, so you kind of have to pat it down to try get everything mixed together. But with this one, you do need a little bit of water. I mean, I could have added more yogurt, but I kind of like just adding a little bit of water to loosen it up. So this is the consistency that you should be getting. Honestly, it's like chocolate mousse. All right, this is where I'm gonna add a dribble, a dribble of water. That actually is okay, that amount. You just have to be careful because otherwise it just goes everywhere. The powder all spills out. So as you can see, it really takes time to mix. Okay, I added a tiny bit more water. Oh yes, this is the consistency you want. So if you use regular protein powder, you don't need any water. Can you see how thick and moussey that is? I'm gonna put it into the bowl. I'm gonna press it down into the bowl. Okay, this might be a weird one, but I actually put a layer of jam then in the middle. This is, obviously this is in the supermarket in Spain. It's a lower calorie version one. So it is only 40 cals per 100 grams. So I only have like 40 grams of this. So it's, it's feck all calories. Um, but other than this, I use apple sauce, a lower calorie version, or they have a melon one. I just kind of get different versions of this and put it in the middle, but you can, you can really use whatever jam or something you wanted in the middle. And because the oats are quite thick, this kind of gives it that like, I can't describe like liquid kind of feel, I suppose. 50% or 50 grams of 0% Greek yogurt. And then I use the vegan protein again. I just have this now in flavor cereal milk, but again, you can use the same flavor or you can use any different flavor on top. Listen, you don't even have to do this. You could just use yogurt on top, but I just mix in a little bit of the cereal milk flavor vegan one, again, just to make it thick. So I just put in 10 grams of this and I just mix this around until it's like a thick paste. So yeah, that's the overnight oats that I make. Now, you can make it overnight oats if you want, but I just put this in the freezer now for half an hour until it gets a little bit colder, a little bit thicker, and then I'll have it. I couldn't be bothered making it the night before, but if you're busy in the morning, perfect to make the night before and then just grab in the morning. So you have the bottom layer, the jam, top layer, and then I'll put toppings on top, peanut butter and fruit always. Um, so yeah, oh, it's just so good, so good. So I've just taken this out of the freezer. To be honest, it's not fully set, I would say. It's only been in for about 20 minutes, but I'm hungry, so. I've taken it out and then I'm topping with peanut butter. So you have your protein and carbs in here, obviously oats and protein powder. And then I'm adding fats. If you're not adding fats to your breakfast, 
especially when you're dieting but you should just be anyway this is going to keep you fuller for longer so avocado dark chocolate peanut butter whatever it is um so for me i'm using peanut butter I just love cinnamon on anything i'm not weighing this i just put it back on for the blueberries but i put cinnamon all over i forgot i actually bought mixed frozen berries so that's what i'm going to top it with so this is it here so the oats jam the topping without the peanut butter and fruit is 47 grams of protein alone and 390 calories and then with the peanut butter and the fruit it's 500 calories but 53 grams protein so it looks small my god does this fill me up and then after that i'm gonna have dark chocolate this is dark chocolate um and i have a few reasonings as to why i'm having this in my dieting phase so one I'm having 20 grams um, after my breakfast, so I've just had peanut butter, but now I'm gonna have some dark chocolate um, just to up my fats. Yes, calories are gonna be higher in the morning, but I'm gonna up my fats so that I'm fuller for longer. This keeps me full for a long time. So the reason why I'm having 99% dark chocolate is because if I was to have some sort of milk chocolate right now, it's really sweet, tastes fucking delicious, um, and I just want more. Whereas after two squares of really dark chocolate, trust me, you're not gonna wanna go back for more. So I'm just getting in fats to help me stay fuller for longer rather than chocolate because I'm just gonna want more chocolate straight after. If I want chocolate, I'll have chocolate. I can just fit it into my calories. Also, dark chocolate, antioxidants, healthier fats than regular chocolate. Nothing at all is wrong with regular chocolate. I literally, have a galaxy bar most evenings. I had my banana bread um, before I went for a walk and then I had my oats, this. So I have high fats, carbs, high protein, all the boxes ticked off and then this is gonna keep me full now for hours. The only issue, sorry, how rude is it to eat on camera? The only issue I do have, we're actually moving apartment and it'll have more space, but right now my office is my kitchen table. I work here all day long. In front of me is my fridge. It is very hard when you work in front of your fridge. You're constantly looking at food all day. It doesn't really bother me. That's why I have kind of meal times. I spoke about that in my last YouTube, so have a look at that. But did I speak about meal times? I think I did. Having regular meal times just means you're less food focused and you're kind of like, oh yeah, I'm not eating for another hour grand to get on with my day. Um, whereas you don't, if you don't have regular meal times, you can kind of just keep snacking all day long. So that's why it doesn't really bother me as much. But if you are someone that works from home and you're working in your kitchen or beside the fridge, try change up your environment if you can. Like just moving your desk to face away from the fridge is going to help massively because you're not gonna be as food focused because you're not looking at food all day long. We're actually cutting into what I eat in a day with a little haul. This package was actually meant to come about a week ago, um, but with, Spanish postage, it's a nightmare. So I've just received this now. So this is the Unified 2 collection. You will have seen this by now. It has gone on sale, um, but I just have not tried the new colors and new styles. So this is gonna be a complete honest haul. Um, first try of me genuinely just trying this. So in my, I think it was two videos ago, I did a Honor Active haul where I announced that I was working with them. So if you would like to shop Honor Active, I'm gonna pop my link below. Um, and as always, just genuinely greatly, greatly appreciate if you are to ever use my link. It just means genuinely the world to me, it means the world to me. Just to show the brand that people trust me and what I'm saying about the brand is, it genuinely means the world to me. So let's get into it. This color I'm genuinely most excited about. I'm not really a pink girly, um, but I love, and I'm not a purple girly. I told you that in the last haul video, I'm not a purple gal, but this color is not pink and it's not purple and I absolutely love it. Sorry, while I'm here, I said I'll show this jumper because when I say I'm, I've been living in it, it's actually a disgrace. It's on my body every day. I have washed it once um, and it's washed really well as well. But do you remember if you did watch my Honor Active haul that I tried this, I, I got it, but I didn't want to try it on because I had makeup on and I was like, I don't want to ruin the top of it. Well, I didn't realize 
but it is so stretchy so I, was, I should I would have been able to put it over my head but I was too scared um but I have just been living in it so I can now actually show you what it's like so this is the fleece hoodie I have it in large because I like things oversized if I'm in a fleece I do not want to be in a tight little fleece when I'm wearing a jumper I want to be cozy um so it's a fleece has the hood and it has actually ties at the bottom that's why I liked getting the large because it just means I can pull it in at the sides and you can make it whatever size you actually want really so like I pulled it in there you can literally make it cropped if you want but I just kind of wear it like that and um, so I absolutely I just love it I put it on the very first day and didn't I only go and get pen on it? I dropped a pen and a big pen mark went down it. So I quickly TikToked how to get pen out of a jumper or clothes. All you have to do is spray loads of hairspray on it, get a wet wipe, uh, go really quickly over the pen and it comes out like that and then use a hairdryer. Literally came out like that. So there's a little hack for you guys. So this is the twist bra. If you saw me, I got the white twist bra in the last haul and I'm absolutely obsessed. It's probably one of my favorite bras they've brought out. So it does have the crisscross back, which I showed in the last video, but I've actually taken this off recently on my white one because I actually prefer it as a halter deck. So I'm gonna take off the back straight away. You can see it as a crisscross in my last haul. Um, and now I'll show it as just the halter neck as I would wear it. And I'm also gonna try on the unified leggings. This is the first time I've ever tried on the unified leggings. Now, I'm ex actually excited to try these on because they actually sent me the wrong size. So they sent me a small, and you guys know I'm a medium in all lower body stuff from Honor and Bras. To be honest, I'm not annoyed that they sent the small. I wouldn't be annoyed anyway. I couldn't be more grateful that I'm even working with Honor Active. But what I mean is when I saw it, I was like, do you know what? That would be perfect for a haul to show women what the small looks like. And for me to talk about how the small fits, even though I would always go for a medium because I haven't tried a small. So, you know, if they don't fit, it's, it's showing that I'm a true medium or if they do fit, I can show you the, the stretch. But to be honest, the effortless leggings I'm a medium in and they're stretchy. These are not that stretchy. So I don't know if I'll even get these on me to be quite honest. And if I don't get them on me, they will go to a very loved home because my friend is a small. But it will just, it'll just show what they're like on me. So let's try them on. So let's start off with the Unified Twist Bra in Moonstone Blue. I'm absolutely obsessed. You saw how obsessed I was with the white one when I tried it on in my last haul. I love it. I think it's so flattering. I do not have a chest by any means and I just find it really flattering. Um, it has this kind of hole detailing here and I would kind of tuck up. Not that I don't like that detailing, I just like how it sits like this. Um, and then I took off the crisscross at the back so that it is a halter back rather than crisscross. But of course you can have it crisscross with these guys. It doesn't add any more support from what I think uh, because the halter is the support but it just adds a detail. So you can take that off if you wish. I really hope you can see these properly. So do you know what? A small actually do fit. They do fit perfectly, um, but there's definitely not a huge amount of room in them. Like they fit snug, whereas the medium have a bit more room in them, but they, they definitely fit. Like they're not, they're not too restrictive by any means. If anything, they probably, sit on my glutes actually a little bit better and are quite flattering on my glutes compared to the medium because I have the medium in the shorts and these definitely sculpt around the glutes a lot better. So do you know what? The small are actually really nice. I probably would still order a medium. I just like having a little bit more room and a little bit more stretchiness, but overall these colors are absolutely stunning okay so this is also something new that i have not tried sorry guys i have you at the window i say this most halls i have you at the window and there's a lot of cars going past but it's the most natural light for you guys to be able to see the color and the fit so i do apologize if there's noise in the background so this is the unified v-neck cross back vest in moonstone blue so same color as this um, and this is in a medium so this is the top the same kind of material, um, almost like, not scuba diving material, but I can't really, 
it's it's really like performance material and that's what they did build it for and then it has this cross back detailing which is stunning um, and there's also a built-in bra into it so there is built-in pads but you can also remove them if you wish so let's try this one on okay so this is the v-neck cross back top and she is beautiful i'm actually going to pop on the other color shorts in a minute just so you can actually see the top better because it's kind of all just molding into one right now but it does have this v neck it does have a good support there is the sports bra built in underneath it is a very thick performance material like i feel like i could train in this run in this and i am fully supported and it does feel very sweat proof which is again what they built it for and then this is the cross back detailing which is absolutely stunning and then kind of has like a crossover well i know it's called cross back but even this part is like a crossover with a little bit of a v at the back okay so i've just put on the orchid purple shorts sorry but these colors together are absolutely beautiful i'm more of a mixed match color i just kind of feel like a crayon if i have all one color i mean i'm not saying you can't wear them together or you have to go and buy two different sets. I just love having them mixed and matched. So just to show the difference, these are the velvet pink shorts from Unified in the last one that I showed in my other haul. So I just wanted to show the difference of the two colors, very, very different colors. So this is the velvet pink and this is the orchid purple. So I've just shown the leggings in a small, these are in a medium. So obviously the waistband would be exact same in the leggings and the shorts. So there is a lot more stretch to them, but they're still, can you hear that snap? Snap, crackle and pop. You know, it, there's still a snap. So I would still, personally for me, go for medium rather than small. I feel like I have a little bit more maneuvering with these, but they're still tight to the body. They're not rolling. And then the shorts have that contour detailing at the glutes here. Okay, and two more thing, three more things I want to try on. So it's all in this orchid purple color. This is most certainly not something I would typically wear because I usually just wear sports bras in the gym, but this I would wear day to day. But for someone who likes a baggy top in the gym or maybe going abroad and they wanna get their arms out because it's warm, but still wanna feel a little bit covered, these tops are absolutely stunning from what I've seen. So I'm excited to try. So this is the go-to strappy loose vest in orchid purple in medium. So the whole point of it is to be loose. So I wouldn't have sized down for this one. Sorry, I needed something to put underneath that top or I was gonna have the gals out. So I said I would try on the sports bra first and then I'll try on the top. So this is the layered sports bra, which is 100% not something I would personally purchase. The reason for that being is this is really made for women with bigger busts and want to have a lot of support. We all know I was not really blessed in that region. So I don't need something with support. I think it's absolutely incredible that the brand is really looking at all women and how can we make sure all women feel happy in what they're wearing? Because I completely understand the ones with really low neck and not much support, I might feel comfortable in it, but there's so many women that maybe won't feel comfortable in it or don't feel supported in it. So this is why they brought out the layered sports bra. It's not something I would purchase myself, but it's good to just show as well because, you know, some women might not have a big bust, but just want to be completely covered. And that's absolutely okay as well. So this is how it looks here. Again, look at the color, guys. And um, this is how it looks here. So it's almost like the V-neck bra that I just showed in the Moonstone, but has this like built in sports bra underneath. Um, and it's nice and like, you know, kind of covers everywhere. Then at the back, it's like this. So it has stunning detailing, which I think is really nice because I know a lot of my clients have said they find it hard to find a sports bra that looks nice, but also gives them support. So that's the back. It's like a cross back with a hole. Now this is like a bra. So there's three, I don't know bras. So I don't know what the wording is. Three connections, three, loop-de-loop -loop holes you know what I mean you know like a bra you know when you tighten them or loosen them so there's three of them um now I have this on the t on the loosest I have this on the loosest and it's a medium and my god would I not be getting a small and I don't have a chest 
I find it, like it is, it's meant to be really supportive and nice and tight and snug, but I find it snug. You know, I, I would not be sizing down to a smaller. I probably wouldn't have got it on me. I do have a broader back, even though I don't have much of a chest. So not that I, I'm gonna go bold here and I'm gonna put a statement out there to say that I probably would size up because you have the option of going tighter, if that makes sense. Whereas you don't have the option of going looser than the loosest one. Um, so that's personally what I'm gonna say about this because you can go tighter, but you also want to not feel squished and restricted in it. So this is the medium. Um, but you know what? Something I wouldn't purchase and I actually really like it. Really like it. It would probably make more sense to show this on top of a different sports bra um, so that you can kind of see the exact, like where it lies. Um, so like this is obviously all the sports bra here. So this is the vest. It's actually fucking stunning, isn't it? Like it's just nice and loose. I'm definitely gonna wear this during summer, just when I'm, you know, out for a walk. Um, and then it does, I know it's probably confusing with the bra, but it does have a crossed back detailing. I hope you can see those straps. Now, what I have seen um, on some people's pages is they get a bobbin and they just twist it. So back to what I eat in a day. So I've had my sliced banana bread this morning. I had my oats and then I had my dark chocolate and it's now quarter to three. And honestly, I'm not really that hungry. If I had have not had the fats with peanut butter and dark chocolate, I would be ravenous right now. And um, so I'm literally jumping on a call so I can only have something really, really quick. So before I make my lunch after my call, I do like to have my lunch a little bit later so that I'm not ravenous for dinner. And um, so I still have lunch, dinner, and something after dinner as well. So I'm just gonna have this protein mousse. Um, this is obviously from Spain. But if you're in Ireland or different countries, they've loads of different ones. Ireland have them in Aldi, um, but it's 20 grams of protein for 150 cals. And then this is just making sure that I'm hitting my protein for the day because I have about 15 grams left to hit because I've already tracked my lunch, I tracked my dinner, I tracked after. I pre-track everything in the morning so I know exactly what I'm gonna eat. So it takes out any guesswork. It doesn't mean I'm getting to the evening and I don't know what I'm gonna be having. Or I could get to the evening and I have loads of protein left, barely any calories left. Um, so when I pre-track in the morning, it means my whole day is already organized, but I can focus on things like work and not focus on being food focused. Just put me in the bin, put me in the bin, put me in the bin. So the last clip you just saw of me was actually last week, mid last week. We are now on Friday of this current week. Um, life just got in the way after I made that clip and I just have not had a chance to take out my camera. So what I've actually done today is just eat the exact same. So now I'm making my lunch. I'm, I'm making my lunch a week and a half later, but I'm still making my lunch. Um, and also kind of the same timing as well. It's about four o'clock now, it's 10 to four. I'm kind of liking my lunch at like four-ish. I know that's very late for some people, but I don't have dinner till about seven-ish, half seven. So that just works for me. So currently what we are gonna have, this is like my favorite lunch at the moment because it's so quick, is frying pan some fry light um, and then just basically fuck whatever veg I have in onto the pan. I don't have any fresh veg because it's Friday and I just have not done a food shop in a few days. It's a little, it's just, it's a little bit hectic over here right now, okay? It's a little bit hectic. So I have frozen veg, which is absolutely perfect. I'm gonna throw frozen onions and frozen peppers into a pan. And then I've just mixed two eggs and then I just have some packet chicken here. Very gourmet, very gourmet. Um, so I'm gonna pop some chicken in with the eggs. That kind of sounds weird um, when I say it like that. I feel like that came from that and it's all a bit, it's all a bit much, but listen, that's what we're having today. Tilly, do you want some chicken? <gasps> you want some chicken? Do you want some chicken? She wants some chicken. Do you want some chicken? Ooh. Ooh. Give me a kiss first. Give me a kiss. Can I have a kiss first? Thank you. Oh, you like the chicken. Oh, I love you. Bye-bye. 
So I'm just adding some peri peri. I just throw on whatever seasoning's there. Um, and then the chicken and eggs on top. Nothing fancy because I'm going to scramble it. Guys, look at this. I've been using turmeric. Turmeric? 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 Tomato? Tomato? I don't know. Um, I've been using that and it stains everything yellow. Actually, I need to add some in. I've been using it because I really good for gut health. Um, and I've actually heard it's good for anti-inflammatory for like your skin. So I've been adding that in, but yeah, it, it just turns everything yellow. So we're gonna let her scramble up. And then I've been using these. They're the Pat the Baker Slimbos. I actually got these sent to me because I made a video um, on Instagram about carbs and how I love to eat carbs, even when I'm dieting. And got bread sent to the house. You know, some people get like pure packages of like makeup or some fitness people get brought away by brands on holidays. I get bread and I couldn't be happier about it. Couldn't be happier about it. Now the only thing about this is I have them in the freezer because I brought them from Ireland. That's how much I love bread. I brought them from Ireland. Yes, you heard that one, right? Um, so I can't actually cut into it because it's frozen together, the two slices. So we're gonna have to put it all in into the toaster. And she's just she's just scrambling away. Let her do her thing. Cooked literally within two minutes. I know I'm I'm standing here because I have the camera on charge. The camera's not in charge. I'm a week and a half later having lunch. It's been a bit, it's been a bit wild, right? Um, as we can tell by the hair, the hair has the hat because the hair has not been washed. But listen. We're still getting fed, right? And that's all that matters. Um, so I have the chicken and the eggs, protein, fats. Then we have the bread, carbs. Then I have some guacamole. This guacamole is the one I buy. I know I could make my own. And I could make my own. But you know, there's just some things in life that I'm not gonna do and that's making guacamole. So if I can buy it, fantastic. So that, and then, and then I literally just sprinkled everything but the bagel. If you're from America, you'll know this guy. You guys, you guys have it easy having this. This is probably the nicest thing in the world. You can't get it over here. Well, I haven't seen it in Europe. Um, I'm literally left, I have a tiny bit left at the end. This is from when I went to America a year ago. That's how much I love it. I've been sparing it, but I'm going to America in a couple of weeks. Well, in like a month and a half and I'll be stocking up again. I literally have the dregs left. So that is my lunch. And yes, eggs and lettuce. I know people have, people have seen this and they've, they, they don't understand it. We don't always have to understand each other's meals. I'm not Gordon Ramsay. I like lettuce. It gets in more veg. It's more volume. Look how much of that plate it's filled up. I still have my fats, my protein, my carbs. I will have ketchup. I know eggs, ketchup and lettuce. Vile for some people. Me? Ketchup. I love ketchup on anything. Anything. I love ketchup on anything. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna have for lunch. Okay, so I am just making dinner. So we have our burger buns. And then in here we have our chicken and potatoes. So these are literally just massive potatoes that we pop in the microwave for 15 minutes with a little bit of water. They go soft and then chop them up. I just throw whatever seasoning we have. So I have Cajun, Piri Piri um, and some rosemary. So just gonna pop these in the air fryer and make our burgers and then we have some broccoli and we literally, when I say we have this, every night, every night. So our chicken is done, our potatoes are done um, and I won't lie, we actually use this bag of broccoli because it's just so handy. You pop it in the microwave for six minutes and then we just put it in with a little bit of the peri peri salt and then pop that into the air fryer. Okay, so this is my dinner. It's obviously not very um, aesthetic, but that's just what it is. So I have lettuce, tomato, onion underneath there, ketchup and mustard. That's just, I just can't live without ketchup and mustard. Um, gherkins, very controversial. And then the potatoes. And then this broccoli, Anto just told me that I need to mention that it's the best broccoli in the whole entire world. He was not happy. Yeah, he was not happy that I didn't mention that. But I just know people will say it's lazy using the bag and I, it is probably a lot more expensive, but it was just handy for tonight. So yeah, that is my dinner. And this is how we're spending our Friday. We're curling up on the couch. We pull this couch out all the time. 
um, and watching Disney vlogs. And then to finish off, I'm having this ripple, only 160 cows. And then this tea I have every night. Um, I actually have two tea bags in it. So I have one spearmint tea because I actually heard that this is really good for skin. Um, and I won't lie, ever since I have been having this every night, my skin has gotten better, but I'm also taking supplements and I, yeah, I don't know if it's the tea, but it's now placebo, so I can't not have it. And then my other one is chamomile tea. I just put them together because I just don't want to have two cups of tea. And um, chamomile to relax in the evening. And then my ripple. So I said I would finish off the what I eat in a day today, rather than last night when I showed the ripple and the tea, just because... I was literally in my pyjamas, hair on top of my head, and I just wanted to actually enjoy my cup of tea and ripple rather than finishing off the vlog. I didn't want to just finish off there. So yeah, I really just hope with looking at that video that you've seen, just because you're making changes or losing body fat or losing a little bit of weight, that you don't have to eat boring and you also don't have to starve yourself, that you don't have to eat just chicken, broccoli and veg and not actually enjoy your meals. All of my meals were really satiating, but if you actually look at them, they all had protein, fats, and carbs. They all had purpose. They all were balanced. They all had either fruit or volume or veg to keep me fuller. You know, I could have just had that burger with the chips and no broccoli, but the broccoli was gonna help me keep fuller for longer. I never track any of my veg. I just don't personally agree with that. I don't agree with any coach that makes their client weigh and track their veg if that's going to stop someone eating vegetables then that's absolutely ridiculous so i've never ever weighed out my veg ever or tracked my veg anything like potato sweet potato um anything starchy or higher in calories then yes i will track my veg but i think it's just so important that you focus on getting in your veg especially when it in a deficit because it's going to keep you fuller for longer and then less inclined to snack as well obviously i had things like um a Pepsi Max with my dinner. I had water throughout the day, which I just wasn't showing. I just really wanted to show people that I am seeing changes while in this deficit, yet I am still eating really, really enjoyable meals. I'm actually gonna pop my before and after um, this morning that I took. So I'm about seven weeks into my dieting phase now. And honestly, this week, everything's just clicked into place. I think it was my last YouTuber, the one before that I was speaking about the dieting phase update and the Q and A. And I was saying I'm not really seeing much changes. And this is why I tell my clients all the time to one, take photos, two, just be consistent, and three, stop looking for a quick fix, because it's been about seven weeks now, and now everything's just fallen into place. It's just been from consistency. I haven't massively, drastically changed anything. It's just been from consistency. So as you can see, I'm seeing changes, yet I've had a very nice day of food. To be honest, at the moment, I'm kind of eating the same thing. In the mornings, I might have my pancakes or my overnight oats or regular oats for my lunch. I'm kind of having that same lunch most days because it's just really filling me up. And then my dinner, um, we're kind of changing it up from like chicken burger and chips to like a chicken curry and chips. Um, but like always enjoyable meals. I absolutely just love my dinners. So you will never see me having like an egg white omelette for dinner. Like that's just, I'm not, I'm, been there, done that, wore the t-shirt. I have been through phases of eating very low calories, being miserable with food, being extremely, extremely low body fat, unhealthy, that I won't go back there. I also won't go back to being the other side of me that didn't care about health, ate takeaways all the time, just ate whatever I wanted, didn't look after my training or my nutrition. I'm just now balanced, I'm balanced. I will put my head down, I will see results, I will make changes, but by no means will I get to a stage of being miserable, cutting out food that I enjoy, or not allowing myself food, because I tell you, life is too short. And as I've just shown, you can absolutely see changes while enjoying your food as well. So hopefully this has just helped you a little bit more if you are on a dieting phase at the moment or in a deficit, that you do not need to starve yourself, ladies, if you're watching this, please, can't I can't shout it enough from the rooftops that no woman should be under 1500 calories having extremely low amount of food thinking that you should be training to burn calories that's not healthy that is not healthy and if you're doing that or if any coach is making you do that remember that you can get to a stage of being strong 
you can get to a stage of enjoying your food, seeing changes, and remembering that having more muscle, you are going to weigh heavier, but look a lot better. Like, I am about 8 kg heavier now than I was at, my, at the very start of my gaming phase, and I'm so much happier. So much happier, so much healthier. I look better, I look lean, yet I have so much more muscle. And I would never ever go back to how lean I was or how low body fat or the low on the scales I was. And I'm just really hoping that these videos that I'm making and the reels that I make on Instagram are just really showing women that you don't have to be your smallest self to be healthy, strong, happy, be confident. Hopefully this video has helped you. And as always, let me know in the comments if it has helped you, if you would like to see any more of these videos, what you would like to see. And as always, I would gratefully appreciate any like or subscribe to my channel. It would mean the absolute world to me. Thank you so much for watching and come and join me in my next YouTube.